DFG Science TV. Discrete optimizes. Many roads lead to the destination. How math simplifies our daily life. The mathematicians have arrived back in Berlin and are busy solving problems. When working on any solution to a real-life problem, the discrete optimizers begin by formulating it mathematically. This involves modeling every important detail using an abstract model. At the moment, they're working on algorithms for controlling the ship traffic on the Kiel Canal. Ships of various sizes navigate the canal in both directions, but they're only allowed to meet each other at designated passing places, the turnouts. This means that ships may need to wait, but the total waiting time needs to be kept to a minimum. It isn't easy to arrive at a good model, and doing so requires experience and skill. Sometimes the optimizers take recourse to existing knowledge, but often they need to come up with completely new ideas, which is how new maths comes into being every day, or even at night sometimes. The first model that the mathematicians came up with today still looks fairly simple. We could model a canal as a network. Each turnout is represented by a node. And the sections of the canal in between represent the edges. Now the real-life situation has been translated into a mathematical model. It is only this model that the optimizers will work with during the weeks ahead. Mathematicians use abstract models as they can be applied to a wide variety of seemingly entirely different situations instantly. We encounter networks on Facebook or Zing where they show us who knows who, or in concrete terms as route maps for an underground network or even for a national railway network. There are countless applications in our everyday lives. Sometimes we also need to model details that aren't immediately evident. A turnout on the canal, for example, isn't just a single node, but actually a small sub-network where ships can wait for each other to pass. Now the mathematicians need to determine the precise waiting time and location for each ship on the canal. It's up to them how they do it. There's no need for the planners to know all about these abstract details in practice. After all, they're only interested in the solution to their problem. It's only by creating a detailed model that the mathematicians can identify key details that may otherwise have been overlooked. This can only be achieved by asking just the right questions, which may sometimes take a while. OK, now we've designed a model and know how to represent a solution, but how do we actually construct it? Well, to do that, we need to come up with an algorithm. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.